May the fourth be with you. Here's my top five Star Wars novels. Starting with Thrawn, the Disney canon Thrawn. I love Heir to the Empire too, but not a top five. This book, seeing how Thrawn gets uh, thrown into the Empire, how the Emperor himself ends up just loving him and seeing his tactical abilities and putting him on missions, he keeps climbing the ranks. It's a lot of fun and a lot of Star Wars lore here to appreciate. Then we're going with Old Republic Revan. This is an amazing story. It doesn't let you go. It's very engaging. The pacing is on point. The action is incredible. The characters are fantastic. Uh, the Mandalorian lore is very rich, uh, including a war with the Mandalorians and the, the Jedi or the Sith. Revan, uh, man, there's just so much. The Sith hierarchy, Sith lore. This book doesn't let you go, and it's amazing. I think it's a must-read for especially Sith fans of Star Wars. And I needed the Plagueis book on here. This is a prequel to the prequels. Everything that happened in the prequels um, was set up in this book. Almost everything. We're talking about Palpatine, his master, Darth Plagueis. We're talking about the corruption of the Senate and the Republic and all these plans. The clones. Darth Maul. Plagueis finds Darth Maul as a little kid here and trains him. This is better than the prequels. Revenge of the Sith is really good, but this is better than episode one and two, and it sets up the whole thing so well. If I would be okay with a prequel again, I would say please make this prequel, but, you know. And next we're going with Path of Destruction. Oh, how'd you get in there? And Rule of Two, not book three, but the Rule of Two, and this is the same series, and it only seemed appropriate that both of these count as one in the top five, because they both deserve a spot, they're both fantastic. Path of Destruction is just an action-packed adventure seeing um, our Darth Bane here raised from the ranks, starting at a mining worker, getting into the Sith Academy, and just dominating everybody. Amazing. And then you get to see uh, much more into the plot and what's going to happen with him and his new apprentice in the galaxy and what's he up to and the, the war with the Sith and the Jedi Republic and Empire. It's all amazing, very dark and uh, explicit this is the kind of Star Wars I want to see on the big screen. And if picking two books is cheating, I will pick Lost Stars to fill out the top five. I almost picked Dark Disciple, but with all the Clone Wars stuff out there, Dark Disciple felt less special this time around. Lost Stars takes place in the nostalgic OG trilogy era of Star Wars. It's fantastic. It's a story not about Jedi and Sith. It's about two people wanting to be pilots, one on the Republic side, one on the Empire side, but they're already in love, so... That's going to obviously split them up a bit. You get to see a lot of the big events that took place in the OG movies in this book um, from their perspective, and that's really special. So it's just a really solid read, especially if you are a huge fan of the OG trilogy. Um, just spectacular. And here's what I'm reading next. Revenge of the Sith novelization and the Dark Lord of the Sith here. Now, the podcast and Why So Sidious, we did a top five Star Wars novel a year ago. Things change. We read new books. This is an updated list, but you can still check out that episode if you want to see the conversation on our top five novels. It's an early episode, but um, still a lot of fun.